ukulele players, you remember that thrill when you first started playing, strumming your first songs? Well, do you feel like the thrill is gone? Today we're gonna learn how to play Thrill Is Gone on the Baritone Ukulele, because it is Baritone Wednesday, first Wednesday of the month we do a Baritone lesson. Printable notes and a backing track by becoming a Patreon, links up here. I need to get my mic stand back because I hold this microphone right in front of my face. Hey learners, what do you think of my new face? Anyways, babbling. Additional links in the description, including my email if you want some one-on-one -on -one lesson. Let's do it. Grab the Baritone, brain and attention span. When you have those three things, follow me on in and let's break it down. Four chord song, I'm gonna show you kind of how you would play it if you wanted to get closer to the recording in an easier way. You're gonna need a B minor, bar the seventh fret, ring finger on the ninth fret, nine, seven, seven, seven. E minor, keep that bar there, seven, or I'm sorry, nine, nine, eight, seven. You could also play it like this. It's just that switch is a little easier. Dang, sorry. We're also gonna need a G major seven, which is five, seven, 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 which is followed by an F sharp, which is eight, six, seven, six. Bar the sixth fret, middle finger on the seventh of the B, ring finger on the eighth fret up here of the D string. Now, if you like the sound of it moving down, you could also follow this with an F sharp seven. which would be four, six, five, six. Make this D7 shape and then get your index finger on the fourth fret. That's a little closer to the recording. Now you can also do these shapes down here, B minor, which is that E minor shape that we did just here, four, four, three, two. E minor, two, zero, zero, zero. If you got your pinky, or if you played your index finger here and your ring finger on the third fret, it would become an E minor seven. Your G major seven would just be middle finger on the second fret. And then your F sharp is still gonna kinda be tricky, right? You're gonna need to take your E, move it up two frets, cause you got F, F sharp here. So those would be the easier chords, but as you can see, there's still bar chords, it's just there's a little more room. They're not quite as cramped. Outlining the circle quickly, it is four measures of B minor. The middle four is two of E minor, two of B minor. And then the last four would go G major seven, F sharp or F sharp seven, and then two of B minor. So let's break down each of those sections one at a time. The first one, and that's your rhythm. You're gonna pluck the bass, pluck the D string, down on the second beat. One, two, and then release with the bar. One, two, so it kills the sound. One, two, three, four. Pluck, down, rest, down. One, two, three, four. You do that four times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, Three, four. The thrill is gone. The thrill is gone away. <laughs> BB had some pipes, man. All right, Same. middle four. When we get to this E minor, we're actually gonna pluck the G string. Because that's the E note. It doesn't sound quite as good as, because it's so high in pitch, but it sounds it moves more than it would be if you just hung out on that B. So you're gonna pluck that bass down, three, four, one, two, three, four, back to B minor two. Okay. Thrill is gone. Thrill is gone away. All right, let's take a look at the turnaround. Turn around the same rhythm. Let's go with the F sharp seven. One, two, three, four, one, two. If you can't play that chord, go ahead and play this shape. I'm sorry, I'm gonna do the F sharp. Yeah, seven. If you can't do that, just play the F sharp, okay? And we're gonna go pluck, down, down, pluck, down, down. 
What's pretty What's cool pretty about playing this rhythm here is this is the G, so we're, we're not doing an inversion or anything. We're getting the G, and what's nice about this shape is we get the F sharp. So it has that same exact tonality that the guitar does. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And that would be the end of the 12 bar circle. That's the part where he goes, you done me wrong, baby. <laughs> and you'll be sorry someday. From the top, one, two, three, four. All right, and that's the whole tune, believe it or not. Let's jump into that intro solo now, which sounds so, so good. And if you don't know any solos in your baritone, this makes a great first solo because there are only two 16th notes and most of this is just quarter notes and eighth notes. First four measures are up and we're gonna start on the 12th fret here of our B string. Now, you could play that same note here on the seventh fret. 12th fret is where he's playing on the guitar. We're gonna to try to play it just like he would on the guitar. It's three beats and you add some vibrato to it. On the fourth beat, you're gonna play it, but only for an eighth note. So you're gonna play it and release the pressure. One, two, three, four. Okay, first measure, you got it. One, two, three, four. Next measure, 10th fret here. We're gonna give it a quarter bend so you don't want it to sound all the way like this note, somewhere between the two. 12, 10. Then you're gonna play the ninth fret, but try to get it with your ring finger. So you're gonna go one and two and. This is a whole bend, meaning you want it to sound like this. To get there, I find it better to pull down than up. Cause you're gonna go after that to seven, seven, nine finger roll to nine and then let's finish the phrase back to seven here little quarter bend and then nine and two and hold it with some vibrato so we get one and two and three and four and one and two and all right all eighth notes dropping down here to the seventh fret again ninth fret whole bend, whole step, and then get some vibrato on the end of your bend. One will be four and one, two and. Second fret of the B and the E using that finger roll, two and, and then you're gonna turn it off. <laughs> turn it off, you know. Flick that light switch, doot doot. So we get one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one, two and three, four. And then the next four measures come up. Here, 10th fret again, but we want it to bend it to 12. Now this is tricky. Um, we're gonna use the ring finger. See how much you have to bend it to get it up there? Down from 10 to seven. So you're gonna go one, two, and three. Rest on the four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, and three, four. Next measure, rest on the one, one, 12. And you're gonna go one, and two, and three, and four and now that's hard because i can't bend with just my index finger up a whole step so i have to actually get my middle finger on here and ring finger behind it so this phrase really slowly is one two and three and four and one 
and well i'm sorry one two three four and try to get those bends in pitch they really make the solo sound a lot nicer all right one two and three and four and one two three four and that'll keep ringing out four and one and two and three four one well one and two and three four and that happens kind of a lot in this song is kind of one and two and three four so try to get the timing on that down it'll help for your soloing in general but also you're going to see it in the next four measures that kind of timing so here we go one two and three four one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, three, four, and one, and two, and three, four. Woo! Last four. This is a fun little phrase. We're going to bend quarter. One, and two, and three, four. One, and two, and three, four. played it poorly like seven times in a row one and two and three little vibrato four so that last one's only half a beat four one and two and three four rest number one one two pre-bend and then so you're 12 to sound like 14 it's already up here you're gonna pluck it unbend and then pull the 10 now there is a 16th in here. It's one, well it's two and a three. Try to just get that 10th fret on the third beat. And then the four, because only it's only a, um, an eighth note, three and, and then four, slide that finger down, get the middle one on because you're gonna bend up a whole step. Four, 10 after that, the next one is little quarter. One, two, and three. That little phrasing again. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, four. Fourth beat, you're gonna play seven and seven. So it's the last two measures, 10 with a quarter. One, two, and three, 10 to four, 10 to 12, three. Fourth beat, bend up a little, and then come back to the 12th fret. Oops but it's also just an eighth note, which is cool. Instead of letting it ring out because it's the last note, he just deep taps it. Deep, 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 deep. <laughs> so these four measures. One and two and three, four. One, two and three, four. One, two and three, four, one. I bent that on the second measure on the fourth beat. I tried that 10 a whole step with my index finger and probably noticed it didn't sound very good. That's why you want to really try to get those whole bends with your middle finger if you can. Let's play through it nice and super slow. No backing track and just count it. Okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three four and one and two and three four one two and three four one two and three and four and one two three four and one and two and three four one and two and three four one two and three four one two and three four one two three four woo -de hoo
took me a while to get, but I'm pretty proud, proud that I got that bass line in there, though. Boom, 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 boom. Anyways, I'm proud of the bass, and I'm also proud of the solo. I hope you enjoy playing it. We'll catch you the first Wednesday of the month for baritone, Wednesday, Saturday, ukulele, Monday for guitar. Take care. Have a lovely day. Life is good, and I'll catch you on the flip side. Rock and roll. <laughs>